Hi, my name is Henning Pauli and I'm a YouTuber, uh, which means I make silly videos about guitar gear and reviews and stuff like that. Now, what am I doing on the Triad Orbit side? Well, I use Triad Orbit to an extent that is kind of sickening and amazing at the same time. <laughs> Where I'm sitting, I'm surrounded by 10 4K cameras. Uh, because I have something like a, what, what I call a live switching setup, which means like in a TV studio, all cameras are on at the same time, but I don't record to the cameras. It all goes into a room over there behind the glass where my girlfriend is switching as a, like a live TV show that gets recorded. So I only end up with one file on one card and um, all the editing has been done on the fly. Now, if I had to set up for a three camera video, it would be an hour or two setup time with tripods and lights and stuff like this. Setting up for a 10 camera video would be half a day of work, including uh, cables and power supplies and all that stuff and lighting and focus. Now, in this room isn't a single tripod. I haven't used a tripod in a long time because everything is on the walls, on the tables with triad orbit. Um, People come in here and I tell them there's 10 cameras. Well, they don't really see them. Uh, well, they see some, but most of them are kind of tucked in a corner on a wall mount with an OA or an M2. All these are things you don't understand yet, but you will. And I can literally plug in a little monitor or a mic, a light, a camera, or any combination of the above on 18 different spots in this room, which is ridiculous. Right here in the shot, you see there's my backlight camera, which uh, backlight, which isn't on, should be on because I'd have a nice halo. Um, and then there's one up there, and there's one up there, which you can't see. There's one right there above that speaker, and many more. Now, if you're anything like me, I know you hate putting base plates on cameras because they're all different. You have to find a quarter to screw it in uh, so that you can, you know, put it quickly on your tripod and it only fits on the one because, again, they're all different. Or uh, putting the threaded things into microphones at the bottom and then threading it onto the mic stand. It, it's all annoying and takes time and nothing ever fits. Now, with Triad Orbit, you have the patented I.O., that means in-out, uh, quick change release adapters, which simply is like a hexy thing that plugs into the sticky thing, and it's super, super, super solid. It will not fall off. You can have that overhead, whatever, and you can put quite a bit of weight on there. It'll stay. And to take it off, all you do is you just pull down the little black-on-black -black thingy. I don't know what that's called. But then it comes off and you plug the next thing in and your Lego journey begins because that you just combine it in any way that you want. It's easy. It goes in, it comes out, done. And obviously you can use that for cameras, lights, microphones, or anything with a thread really. There's, uh, there's no limits. Now in my time as a YouTuber, I frequently had to do setups that with tripods you can't do. If you ask my colleagues, they will tell you, you can't do these setups. How do you get a perfectly perpendicular shot down on a pedal? As soon as your camera is a little bit angled, the pedal will look trapezoid. Well, I have a wall plate securely on the wall. I put in a A2A, I think it's called, extension rod, plug the camera in and it's pretty much exactly 90 degree pointing down. So for everything I do here, the first thing I reach for is my Triad Orbit accessory board that I made where all my little attachments are. Um, and I will pretty much like a Lego set, build the thing I need, which is something you cannot do with any other system on the planet. My job as a YouTuber and my success as a YouTuber is thanks to the ease of use of Triad Orbit and how I get to film things from angles uh, that you couldn't get any other way. Not just that, but having 10 cameras in the room means usually in some of those angles you will see a lot of the other cameras or tripods or whatever 
um, in my case, you rarely do. There are those cameras show me and you don't see the other rest of the setup because there's a clamp somewhere on the table uh, with an OA on it, which is a big ball head, and a camera on it, which I can clamp in anywhere. Uh, with the vector, I can take one wall mount, which in my case would also be table mounts, um, and all of a sudden put two, three cameras and a screen on it. The legobility, that might be a word, of Triad Orbit allows me to do stuff that you just can't do any other way. Glenn Fricker also loves Triad Orbit. Now I've taken Triad Orbit on the road, so at NAMM I wheel around with a um, T3 on wheels and I have my whole setup on there and everyone's always very jealous because I don't have to carry things and I can take a rig to NAMM that other people simply won't because it would be too much to carry. I take Triad Orbit uh, to shoots when I go somewhere. Yes, it is heavy, absolutely, but it allows me to do setups, for example, at Houston Kettner, like you see here, where I have three cameras with me and it, I can easily adjust everything just the way I want. Um, clamp something on here, clamp something on there. When I um, do my live stream concerts, yeah, I'll actually do bands right behind me in the room. Set up um, 10 cameras going on the band and I still have enough Triad Orbit uh, gear to have the vocals, have a mic stand, which is very small and not intrusive on, on the floor. I'm actually using the T1 or even the TM, the T-Mini, um, which has a footprint like this. And it's still stable enough to put a high-end mic on it. I put an extender on there to go a little bit higher and an uh, uh, OM, like, like the short extension arm, or uh, the short uh, boom, that's what it's called. And it's it works uh, on the drums. And I mean, you try it orbit is everywhere here. I know this is the official Trial Orbit site, yet it is absolutely my conviction that my life would be different. I would not have the setup, it would be impossible. I would not have the success on YouTube that I have without this system that enables me to do a setup like this. When a colleague of mine comes in here, another YouTuber, and they're like, well, it's gonna take a while to, you know, set up for this video. I'm like, give me five minutes. Clack, clack, clack. <laughs> you know, camera on it. And they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, we're done. And all the cameras are positioned. All the lights are positioned. All the mics are positioned. Um, setups in a piano, which I've done. Setups with MS recording where the mics are right on top of each other. So, so, so many things that I can do here that you couldn't do any other way. That's my true conviction. I'm very, very uh, thankful that I can call the Triad Orbit team good friends and that uh, we've worked together for so long. So I want to thank you guys. And if you're a potential customer, I know the lineup is a little bit complicated to get your head around and what you need. I recommend uh, contacting the team and getting uh, some advice on what to combine and what you need because it's not always very clear to the uninitiated. Once you're initiated, it's like buying your first little sets of Lego and then you want more and then you want more and then you're going to be very happy because try it orbit rules. So, thanks.